Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about UFC Saudi Arabia, Arabia or UFC on ABC 6. Very, very interesting card for my picks. I went 10 and 1. The one loss I had was Moen Gafarov versus uh, Kang. Um, yeah, Kang. Uh, I, I thought Kang won, possibly won rounds 2 and 3. Definitely won round 3. Ended up being at 30-27 for Gafarov. Doesn't make any sense at all. Um, but this card was awesome. Um, Shara Bullet looked really, really good. Uh, I, I, I do think there is a bit of a problem with how you're going to match him up and where you're going to match him up at. But starting from the bottom, uh, Cheng Ho Lee, his knees in the clinch were absolutely incredible. Magomed, got, his leg got destroyed by Ribeiro in the first, and then he chose not to stand up or even really tried to get back up. Magomed, his grappling looked good for a striker. Looked good, did what he had to do to get the win. Very curious to see where he goes, where he goes from here. Um, the, the biggest thing, really, is Johnny Walker. His terrible ass needs to get out of the UFC. He's so bad. Volkan Uzdemir, beautiful knockout. Thank you for that. Shara getting a late knockout, which was very nice, very accurate. Uh, Volkov destroying the overrated as hell, Sergey Pavlich, who is not very good. Big hands, sure, you're a heavyweight. you got to be better more than that. Uh, Alexander Volkov doing very, very good work. And then Robert Whitaker, under a minute, 50 seconds, round number one, destroys Ikram. Boy, was it beautiful. I was glad to be live with you guys. And, and I, I knew it was going to be a knockout. Didn't think it was going to be in round one. Um, yeah, this card was good. This card was good. We had one, two, three... Four, uh, four finishes out of 11 fights, and three, wait, one, two, three, four, four split or majority decisions, and a couple unanimous decisions. Kevin Gaslin, where does he really go from here? I think he needs to go down to 170. I think you have to make a contingent on that, um, but that's where he's going to be better. Daniel Rodriguez, that's three in a row now at 37 years old. Big problem. I believe he'll be 38 later this year, but um, it's interesting where they're going to put him. That's, I believe, three losses in a row. The Neil Magny one is whatever. He was winning, gets caught with the submission. The Leech fight, I didn't think he won that anyways. He won that. So it, it, it's, it's weird where he goes. Sergey Pavlich is a ridiculous sore loser. Pushing Volkov like he did. Okay, cry baby. Um, great fights, great card. Really enjoyed this one. I was glad it was at eleven o'clock. Uh, but yeah, we, Whitaker should be the backup for the Izzy DDP fight. Um, Volkov should fight the winner of uh, Aspinall Blades. Gastelum, I believe Gastelum is. Where is he ranked? Oh, he's ranked. He's a welterweight, so he's right here. So, but you have to think, Roy, uh, Randy Brown would be interesting. Uh, Jeff Neal would be interesting. Um, those are fights he probably should t should have. But yeah, overall, very very good night of fights. I really really enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys did too. Let me know how you guys' picks went. And I'll talk to you. I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace.